Before we go ahead and get into this video, I would just like to let you guys know that I actually currently am gifting my subscribers, and if you want to go ahead and get any gift from the Fortnite item shop or the new Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 Battle Pass, all you gotta go ahead and do is make sure you subscribe with all notifications on, and the first couple people to every single video have a chance of getting gifted. So, if you want to get a gift from the item shop, just make sure you subscribe with all notifications on. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aiden and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm coming at you with a quick little video and in this video guys, we're going to be going over the best graphic settings for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. Obviously right now we're on PC, however these graphic settings work almost the exact same on console. We'll get to the only thing that's really different and I mean it's pretty obvious. It's just all the stuff that has to do with the graphics cards and stuff like that. But we'll get to that when we get to it. These settings will obviously make your game look a lot better within Fortnite chapter 2 season 7 we actually got updated pc graphics as well which basically matches the graphic settings with the graphic settings that are actually on the new consoles so the xbox series x and the ps5 and honestly with these graphic settings right here your Fortnite game will look really really good i'm going to show you all the settings and then of course i'll hop into a game of battle labs and basically kind of showcase it for you guys so, so yeah before we actually go ahead and get into these settings though make sure to leave a like share and subscribe if you are new for even more content just like this and we have put a ton of Fortnite in the channel whether it be fortnite news leaks gameplay or glitches so if any of that does sound interesting you should definitely go ahead and drop a sub as well as subscribe with all notifications on because guys if you don't know i actually currently am gifting my subscribers so if you want to go ahead and get a gift from the item shop all you got to do is make sure you sub with all notifications on i go more into detail about that in the intro so hopefully you guys were paying attention then but anyways with that said i got one more announcement of course we can go ahead and get into this video guys if you don't know i actually do have a discord server if you're having any issues with this guy just join the discord server and i can help you on there it's also the best place to be for video updates other announcements as well as to participate within community-wide events such as giveaways so if you want to go ahead and win some free stuff just make sure you join the discord server link down in the pinned comment but yeah with that being said let's go ahead and get into these settings all right guys so if we go ahead and head into my settings all i'm really going to be focusing on because this is a graphic settings video is these video settings right here if you want other guides such as the best controller settings that i actually use i can always go ahead and get into that in some other time but basically within this video i'm just going to be focusing on the video Video settings anyways with that being said let's go ahead and head into display first of all if you're on pc you're going to want to make sure that for your window mode you're actually on full screen you do not want to be on windowed full screen or windowed as you can see in this section right here it actually says that your game will run slightly faster in full screen so i don't know why you would ever play in windowed but for resolution honestly i play in 1920 by 1080 because i mean i want my stuff to look as good as possible for youtube but if you're trying to get higher FPS, FPS, I would say that you guys should actually go ahead and run your game on 1600 by 900 because it still runs on the 16.9 output. And honestly, it's really hard to tell the difference unless you have like 40 20 vision. I would play on 1600 by 900. But obviously, if you're a content creator, you're going to want to play on 1920 by 1080. For frame rate limit, honestly, it kind of depends on what monitor you're actually running. I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I'm going to cap off my stuff at 240 hertz. But honestly, what you're supposed to do is actually cap off off your frame rate one above whatever monitor you actually have so say you have a 60 frame per second monitor you're going to want to cap it off at 120 and then of course if you have a 120 monitor you're going to want to cap it off at 144 and so on but for me personally i just i just like to cap it off at 240 but that's just my opinion now we're on to the graphic settings in terms of brightness i like to keep it at 100 a lot of people actually like to play on 50 percent and then basically go ahead and turn on a colorblind mode called a tritonope that basically just makes the storm more obvious but within fortnite chapter 2 season 7 they actually changed the storm to match the ps5 and xbox series x storm so you don't really need that anymore i would just keep your brightness at 100 and then of course your user interface contrast at one percent because honestly this is it just makes your game really dark and contrast a lot of people turn this up to make like the thumbnails but hey honestly if you go ahead and back out like look at how horrible this looks it is not that good so keep that at one percent in terms of color wine mode keep that off unless you want to put try note this is the one thing that i would make an exception for if you want to put try note make sure you put your brightness at 50 percent but honestly that's just personal preference and then of course you can always change the colorblind strength depending on if you actually put on a colorblind mode in terms of graphics quality i assume this is what a lot of you guys are actually coming on this video for basically in terms of auto set quality you never want to use this okay this makes your game look horrible it normally puts it on all the highest settings but you actually don't want to go ahead and do that switch it over to custom and then go ahead and boost up your 3d 
view resolution all the way and then of course in terms of view distance because this does give you an advantage within the game keep that on epic in terms of shadows a lot of people play with them off especially if you're playing competitive because it can take a toll on your frames personally though because i'm a content creator i like to play on high and honestly it makes the game look really good obviously my pc can run epic for every single thing but honestly i don't really like putting epic on for everything basically put your shadows on high anti-aliasing you'll want to put that on high as well because basically it makes all the edges of like surfaces look a lot smoother obviously you can put this on epic but honestly i put it on epic for so long and i switched to high and i couldn't tell the difference whatsoever so if you want higher frames i would just put it on high because you can't really tell the difference in terms of textures i like to keep mine on epic i like my textures looking really really nice especially because my pc can run it but obviously high is basically the same thing you can't really tell a difference in terms of effects i like to keep it on high as well because it does reduce performance if it's on epic so i like to keep it on high and then of course post processing it's like you can either put it on high or medium i like to keep it on medium because it does make my frames a little bit higher so yeah these are the settings i would copy down especially if your pc can run it i mean if your pc can run it and you want the best looking game possible and you know you can get all the frames say you have like a 30 60 you can put obviously epic on every single thing but that's just not what i like to do in terms of advanced graphics never put on vsync i don't know if you ever watch a guide and they tell you to turn on vsync fortnite vsync is horrible don't keep it on motion blur that's gross if you have that on you're nasty take that stuff off that's gross in terms of show fps i like to keep it on because i like to keep track rendering mode obviously if you're playing on pc and you're a content creator i would go ahead and put it on direct x12 because basically it gives you access to all of the ray tracing settings but obviously i have to restart my game in order to actually go ahead and do that but personally i like to play on direct x11 and of course if you want the highest frames possible i would go ahead and play on performance mode which is the very last one over here it does obviously make your game look kind of whack i don't really like the way that it actually makes your game look but you can get upwards to like 600 frames if you play on performance mode which is why a lot of people like it but personally for me i just like to stick to the basics direct x11 but if you want ray tracing it is in the game now put it on DirectX 12 however your frames may take a toll for that multi-threaded rendering obviously you want to keep that on that's good for your game use gpu crash debugging i don't know why you would have that on it actually reduces performance so i would take that off obviously why would you help fortnite if it's going to reduce your performance i think that's stupid latency markers keep that on nvidia reflex low latency keep that on plus boost and basically that i'll go ahead and make sure that you have the lowest latency latency flash keep that off it's really nasty it basically just randomly pulls up a white box when you actually shoot or interact or anything and honestly it's pretty nasty it's basically used to go ahead and check out input delay but i don't know why you would ever have that on it's just gross and dlss i feel like this is pretty obvious you want to go ahead and keep that off basically apply all these settings once you go ahead and get everything on i'll go ahead and scroll through them real quickly so you guys can actually go ahead and get a quick idea on everything you want to go ahead and have these are the best graphic settings for pc at least in my opinion obviously no matter who you ask they're gonna say different if you want the best 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 graphics and your pc can run it i'll go ahead and put everything on epic but obviously that takes a major toll on performance of your pc and it'll go ahead and make your frames absolutely horrible so just keep it on these settings right here but now let's go ahead and head into a game of battle lab and we'll go to a brand new area that's actually introduced within fortnite chapter 2 season 7 to basically go ahead and showcase all of these insane graphics Okay, right, guys, so in order to showcase these settings, I thought I would land in probably the most beautiful section within Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. This is the brand new crater that was actually brought in. It's got all the purple and, of course, the green, and I really, really like this area. It's probably my favorite section because it's just so beautiful. As you can see, shadows is very nice within this section. All of the weapons kind of have this really nice blur and, of course, neon look as well. I freaking love the way that everything looks with these settings, and honestly, I wish it was sunset because that would be a better showcase of this it looks really good during sunset but hey i guess we'll have to do this obviously look at that glow that's so clean everything in general even the water looks super nice yeah that is where i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy hopefully you guys like these settings let me know if you prefer any other settings down in the comment section below as well as let me know if you guys want any other guides on different settings like controller settings i'll show you the controller settings i play eventually here on this channel 
channel. And then of course, I'll show you the best controller settings as well. Before leaving this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you are new for even more content just like this one. We have put a ton of Fortnite here on the channel, whether it be Fortnite news, leaks, gameplay, or glitches. So if any of that does sound interesting, you should definitely go ahead and drop a sub as well as subscribe with all notifications on because guys, if you don't know, I actually currently am gifting my subscribers. So if you want to go ahead and get a gift from the Fortnite item shop, all you got to go ahead and do is just make sure that you subscribe with all notifications on. Make sure to join the Discord server if you're having any issues with this guide or have any questions at all. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.